When I was young, I used to sit by the hot springs and listen to the stories of warriors from all over Natland. <sighs> they attract people from all walks of life. Friends come easy here, no matter what tribe you're from. The people of the springs have never claimed the hot springs as their own private property. They are there to bring all hot spring buddies together. It's been really nice, seeing the children of my tribe get older. It's helped me gradually understand the true value of the springs. I've witnessed their energy, their determination, their absolute passion for life. Ah, even when they cause trouble, I never manage to hold on to my anger for long. It's unbelievable how quickly they worm their way back into my good graces. I'm certain Mualani will become a great warrior when she grows up. She possesses infinite potential. I can see it. One day, when I'm no longer in fighting form, I'll come here and tell stories to all the children, just like those warriors did for me. So, you better get busy, Pyro Archon, or I'll end up running out of stories. <laughs> Our nation is engulfed in darkness. Our tribes stand divided, and yet you promise victory in the distant future. The Abyss is a cunning enemy, one that I faced in battle many times. Were that not the case, I would never understand exercising this degree of caution. My rage will never know absolution then my power will no longer aid you in victory. But you came to me because you knew you could convince me with just a single sentence. I understand your choice. The heroes of today will forge the path ahead with blood and fire. Just remember to earn us the victory we are owed. Otherwise, rest assured, I'll find a way to collect the debt. For Natlan. So, you're gonna head 500 years in the future to serve as the Pyro Archon again? But what about the you from right now? You're just gonna die? You can't ask her those questions and expect her to answer, my dear. The decision is hers to make, and she deserves our support. We will do everything we can to rebuild the tribes. Don't you worry. Even across time, we will all do our part to fight for Natlan's future. Yeah, Mom's right. We'll always believe in you, sis. Oh, seriously though, Dad should be here. Where is he? I... I imagine he... He didn't know what to say, so he chose not to come at all. Don't take it to heart, my dear. That's just who he is. Just remember, no matter what happens in the future, we will always love you. How come 
find you one day. I know I can't live that long, but I'll think of something. Oh, there has to be a way for us to meet again one day. If there's an answer out there somewhere, I'm gonna find it. So, don't forget about me. If that's your decision, then you have my full support, Archon. May our children live to see such a lovely son. For Nedlin! No one fights alone. The rules are my legacy. They shall grant us the strength to overcome the next tragedy. War forged the six tribes, taught us how to fight, instilled in us what it means to love. Who will be the one to bring this to an end? We are the inheritors of memory and legend. Those who grew alongside sun and wind. Those who forged our own destiny and future. That is Natland's fire. The lifeblood of our nation. <laughs>